All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but let's talk about Caspa. I know the Caspa community right now have probably a lot of questions. Why is the price of Caspa now pumping this and that? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If we're looking at the entire market, pretty much uh, majority of the market is in green. We're seeing a little bit of coins here and there that are in red. And speaking about red, we are seeing Caspa down 5.8% over the past 24 hours in USD comparative. So let's take a further look at CAS to see what is happening over some next price targets that we could be aiming for in the upcoming days ahead of us. So looking at the price of Caspa right now, 12.9 cents, down 5.7% over the past 24 hours in USD comparative. It's also down 4.1% in Bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours. Market cap currently sitting at $2.8 billion and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $46.2 million. But before we jump into the charts, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So one thing you do want to look at is Bitcoin is seeing a little bit of a minor retracement, which is also, you know, a reason as to why we're seeing Caspa not, uh, you know, pulling more towards the upside. Because let's face it, over the past 24 to 48 hours, Caspa wasn't outpacing Bitcoin to begin with. So, um, you know, obviously if Bitcoin sees a retracement, Caspa is also going to uh, be impacted. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening right now. But let's take a closer look look and see what is happening and like I said what are some next targets we could be looking at so um, you know if I'm looking at the hourly time frame exactly literally spot on the word spot on is the perfect word to be using right now um, you know you can see this for yourself exact target that I spoke about came true remember in the previous update we were talking about this support line which is a huge level of resistance for the price of Caspa as we were going towards the upside and I pretty much said several times pretty much on a daily basis that you know we do need to see the price actually claim above this support line which is at 13.5 cents if it's not able to do that we could be making our way down to this 12.9 cents mark and that's exactly what we did see happen um, of course uh, some of the uh, longs got liquidated which which did impact the price even more and we did see the price fall down to 20 I'm sorry 12.5 cents but pretty much um, you know the resistance um, at the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level has been uh, the main target um, that was to be true and that's exactly where the price is currently trading at so at this point you know let's extend this trend line uh, 35, yeah let's extend this so now, this should give you guys a better uh, understanding as to how important the support line really was. Literally, after breaking below that support, you can see the price dropped about 7%. And, you know, a 7% drop as far as futures trading goes is quite significant. And futures trading is happening right now for Caspa. And what is happening right now as we speak a lot of people are locking their profits in and yesterday I had an argument with and I shouldn't be having arguments with um, you know trolls that are coming when I say you know people that were locking in profit good on them you know people the moon boys of Caspa take that you know and they get personal with it you know taking profits is not a bad idea because now let's zoom out okay let's let's actually zoom out let's go towards the all-time high so if you took some profits around that range, you could be picking it up around 20% cheaper. But that's not the point. The main point is, let's say you picked it up and you're up 2 to 3x. And now you are seeing other opportunities in the crypto space and you want to take some profits out and put it into some other coins. That's totally fine. That is totally okay. And some of these moon boys hate hearing that. And just because people take profits doesn't mean they close out their entire positions. They sell their entire holdings. They take a certain amount of profits and put it elsewhere. And this is how you make maximize gains. Because right now what we're seeing is Caspa had that head start run. And it's lagging behind the entire market. Why? Because it had a head start. And the whales understand that. And this game is all whale manipulated and this is what's happening right now there's so much opportunity out there coins that haven't pumped we're starting to get into an altcoin season potentially could be seeing a massive altcoin season if dominance continues to pull down 
and that is bringing more interest. So people are looking for other opportunities and that's what's happening with Casper. but profit is going out. And let's keep reminding ourselves that on a monthly basis, Casper is up 90% and on the yearly basis, it's up 17x. And a lot of people don't look at these numbers, but overall, long-term horizon, like I've said, the potential is definitely there. Uh, so we need to keep these factors in mind. Patience is your number one key to follow. If you're feeling, um, you know, bearish now, you don't really want uh, to get into Casper, but, um, you know, around the all-time highs, this is where you were mega bullish, then, you know, I don't think you understand the crypto space properly. You want to be picking up the dip dollar cost averaging around the uh, prices that are we're tracing rather than picking it up when it has pumped up thousands of percent. So that's my overall take on this. So overall, I would like to see the price actually stay above this resistance at this 13.5 cents mark. This is a significant resistance, guys. I want to see the price of Casper actually hold above there. But if it's not able to hold above there, there is a potential. We could be retesting the 0.50 support at 12.1 cents unless Bitcoin sees a push as we start off Friday. Uh, so that is that for the Casper update. Let me know down below what you guys think. And yeah, thank you so much for all your support. Love you all. See you tomorrow in CryptoZX and peace out.